Hi guys, so we're going to do decals today. So this is one I've done already on Lou's other hand and we'll probably do something on this hand as well but I haven't quite decided what we're going to do if we're going to do decals. These are from eBay. Lou purchased them at the same time as getting the England flags. I've already cut this one out ready. So we're going to do this on the other hand. Now I've got myself a point, pair of pointed tweezers, a must have if you're into nail art. And um, let me just peel off i haven't done it too late yet so really important you peel off this bit first right really really important must have if you don't what happens is your design gets stuck on the plastic and i have wasted so many decals doing that it's really really irritating so make sure you peel that off that that top plastic then this isn't vodka, although sometimes you need it with a little one. This is just water, and you just dip it in there, get it all wet, and then pull it out. I totally dropped it. Right, so it's there. And then just check to see if it's ready. So I can see that it's sliding off that paper now, just about. Sorry, yeah, can you see it's sliding off? Right, so then, which now we're going to do this one on? Should we do this one on the opposite one? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll do something on the other one. So... Line it up where you want it to be. It doesn't have to be, if it's over, as long as your whole nail's covered, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit over the cuticle. All right? Lay it on top, like so, okay? Then what you're wanting to do is stretch it so that you've got your design covering your whole nail. You don't really want to have creases if you can help it so just pull any creases down and out that you might have and then although we have got a full nail decal here and they are really quite thick you know I've used ones that are like just the odd flower and they're quite soft and like pliable if that makes sense these are quite thick so I thought, oh, I'd have to cut them. But actually, what we discovered on Lou's other hand is they work quite well if you have like a cheeky little brush. I'm not even sure what this brush is, where it's come from. But any small brush, it's good for details. That's the kind of end we're looking at. And then you just keep... If you just rub that into the cuticle, it just dissolves it. I'm going to see if I can get it a bit closer to the camera and see if that still picks it up. Yes, it does. Great. So this is the same that you would do if you did stamping or anything like that. You would just use that to clear up your cuticles and around the edges. And that will make it really look nice and neat, like nail polish. And if you still needed to do any tidying up after that, you could use your cuticle. Um, I don't know what the technical name is. The cuticle pusher backer, this ma magical device. And you could push anything away that you didn't want. I'm going to do the same thing. Now, bear with me because I haven't done this last time I did. Um, look, see, that's coming off lovely with that. Beautiful, see? Hadn't even tried that out. It just... There you go. It's come off onto my brush. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Awesome. So I'm just tidying it up, getting it all off of my brush. And I mean, I just look at Lou's nails and I think, God, since the days we started doing them, Lou, how much longer they are. And they're mm. like, we're very proud of these. Yeah. In fact, I think this is what the lo this is the longest they've ever been, isn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah. I love them. Right, okay, so looking good. If you've got any creases, then I would just dab on that brush with the acetone and just uh, smooth out any creases. Okay, and that is that is on. So basically, all I'm going to do now is seal it in with a top coat and bung that in the, the lamp and then use a cuticle oil and sort of make sure that Lou's nail looks nice and uh, like no dryness and stuff. And then also maybe do some kind of other design on that other nail. We might do another decal. We might cut the decal up so that it's um, 
not a full, full nail. But anyway, I will try my best to post a picture of the finished result. Anyway, please like, please subscribe and please share if you are interested in more videos. Lots of love.